unfortunately, a nightmare changed to, to reality uh, in August 2021. We are still it's shocking for my generation and for the rest of the world. How can a country collapse this easy? How, how can we, in 2021, we are witnessing the hum humanitarian crisis. And we are watching and following the news that women and girls cannot go to school anymore. The right of freedom and right of playing any sport is taken from women. And this is what is happening in Afghanistan. Many, many people left Afghanistan and now they are refugees, living as a refugees in, in some of the European countries or some of the Western world. We should, we should try our best to include and, and provide support, but because they are traumatized, they have been through a lot, they are forced to leave their countries that they didn't want. Um, so their, being a refugee was not a choice for them. They were forced to. Um, the other thing is that what I want from the world to who, has, who is listening to, to this message is that First of all, it, like the, the problem exists in everywhere. The problems of inequality, the problems of discrimination, the pro so many challenges exist in, in each community, in each society. If something is happening in Afghanistan, you cannot do anything about it. Think about your community and your society. What is happening and how can you be the voice? How can you be the voice for, your, for the voiceless people in your country? How can you give back to your community? By, and, and how can you give back positively in your community? How can you participate actively to, to build the society together with others? So, and, and just how can we share the positive stories, but also take, in this, make, take a stand and stand together? For us, playing for the national team and earning the jersey, the right to play in, in, in the national jersey and represent our country was the best, beautiful moment in our life. That was, that was a symbol of, of our, our, our fight and our, our fight and, and uh, achievement. Wearing the national jersey was an achievement for us because we fought for so long and we earned that right to play on the jersey of the national team of Afghanistan and represent our country. That was pride for us and was very, very special for us. And calling after such a long time, such a long fight, and calling the players to burn down their jerseys was the toughest for me because I did everything possible. I dedicated my life, fought for such a long time to earn the right to play on the jerseys of the national team. And now all of a sudden, because of the current situation and because of the safety and protection of our players, making the call was the toughest to burn down your uniform, to get rid of the national team jerseys, to get rid of your photos, to get rid of your everything, because it is dangerous. It is dangerous for you and your families when if they recognize you, identify you. Uh, and that was for their own protection, uh, but it was tough for me. It was it was very painful. Um, the women of Afghanistan, especially the, the young generation, the generation that they have not left under the regime of Taliban, and the generation of their twenties, um, they they did everything possible to actively participate through sports, through education, through active participation in society. Their nightmare was to, to see Taliban turning back to Afghanistan and taking the power. Now their dreams are taken from them. The right to education, the right to, to, to feel freedom, the right to dream is taken from them. And they feel abundant by not the man of the country, but by the world. 
because we, as I said, we, uh, our generation is witnessing, watching what is happening in Afghanistan. And in what I feel like we, we let Afghanistan to fail once again. Um, and this is sad. This is sad to see. This is sad to witness, to read about, for example, a 19 years old or 15 years old boy flying outside, uh, f- following from the, uh, from the plane and, and losing the life. Why? Because that person or that young boy had so much dream. He was desperate. And, and he did everything possible to just with the hope and taking the only risk and the, the only chance to maybe he can live the life of freedom. So he took the wing of the plane and he hoped that he might get a chance to live in free, free life. But he didn't know that he will fall and he will lose his life forever. So this is what is happening uh, in my country to my people. And it's unfortunate. It's it's very sad. It's very sad. This is happening, and so many dreams are faded. So many people stop dreaming. I would say that, as I as mentioned, them the sport has the power. And one of the example was that when when I went out and raised my voice. So many good people came together to help me, to help the girls to get outside Afghanistan, to live, to get a chance to live a second chance or get a second chance to live the freedom, but also get the right to play sport that they like, the right to play football that they love and continue dreaming. Um, this is our responsibility uh, in in a project level, but also in different levels, that, as mentioned, to use the power of a sport, to to encourage people to come together and united to promote inclusion. The inclusion should be main part because if I'm living as a refugee in Denmark, it was not my choice. Leaving home is never is never a good experience. But we are forced to leave our homes. And what we want from the world and the, from European society to, to understand what we have been through and the choices that was not not was not good choice or not I mean we were these choices were not made in a good time, but we were forced to because we had to flee because our lives were in a great danger to understand and help us to in, be included in the society to promote and instead of making a lot of politics uh, and a lot of rules and regulations against us talk about humanity talk about human rights because this is the called the european values european values are saying we are equal no matter which color which belief Promote European values than discrimination, than isolation, than standing against us because we are also human beings. All I did was to participate positively in the society. Talk about the, the values as a refugee we are adding in the societies, in the European governments, in European societies. Then a lot of negative about us because we also have a lot of positive stories. <laughs>